Previously on the Fentertainment channel, we tested out one of these tough LED flashlights. It's a uh, tactical light. And uh, to see how bright it is and all the tests I did with it, please click the link above. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust or fix the brakes on your riding lawnmower. If your brakes are slack or anything loose like these were here, he has his foot on the brakes and you can push and you can pull it. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix it. First things first, get a jack, place it underneath the rear of the cart, jack it up to make sure both wheels are off the ground. If your rear wheels has this black rubber cap, just give it a pinch and pull it off. Use a flathead screwdriver in order to remove the retaining ring. Also go ahead and remove the washers. Now you can remove the rear wheel assembly. You may have to shimmy it off in a left or right pattern, or it may just easily slide right off. This is your rear wheel axle. That's the rear wheel axle keyway and key I just removed. Here's a spacer and the next is a washer. Make sure to put those back in order when you're going to reassemble the wheel and tire. This is what the inside of the wheel looks like and how the keyway fits between the axle and wheel. So this is what it looks like when you press the brake on the lawnmower and what actually happens behind the wheel. In order to remove this brake assembly, go ahead and remove these two half inch bolts. They go in from the front all the way to the rear. Once you have both of these bolts removed from the brake assembly, go ahead and pull the cotter pin out of the shaft and go ahead and remove the washer from the shaft itself and go ahead and slide the brake assembly away from the shaft. Okay, so what I have my fingers on here is the lawnmower's disc brake rotor, and below that on the rear portion is the disc brake pad. We're not going to remove the disc brake rotor or pad in this video. This is your disc brake assembly. I went ahead and removed it, brought it into the workshop so we can talk about it more. These two outside bolts here were the bolts that actually holds on the brake assembly to the lawnmower. This bolt here in the middle is also a half inch bolt. It serves two purposes. It holds this mechanical swing arm on the assembly. That swing arm, when it rotates, it pushes in these two pins as you see here. But the other purpose to that nut is it applies pressure to the swing arm so it will make those pins push in further and push the brake pads closer towards the rotor. All right, let's go ahead and remove everything. This is your brake pad. It looks worn, but it has plenty of life left. If yours looks like that, there's no need to replace it. This right here, little metal piece, actually goes between the pad and these two pins. Go ahead and remove the pins and place them aside as well. Next, I went ahead and removed the rear mounting bolt from the brake assembly. I went ahead next and removed the mounting nut for the mechanical arm assembly. Place it aside. Once we had that off, I went ahead and removed this clip that goes between the mounting nut assembly and the back bolt, removed the washer, removed the spring, and the spring actually hooks onto the front bolt, removed that bolt, removed the mechanical arm, and there's everything torn apart off this brake kit. If you need to replace your pads, I'll be sure to put links in the description below where you can find those easily on Amazon. This next shot here, we're going to go ahead and replace everything. First, I went ahead and put both the pins back into the brake caliper, replaced the mechanical arm I put on the washer, I put on the middle nut retainer, I went ahead and put the middle nut on, remember that's half inch, I replaced the back mounting bolt on, I replaced the spring, then I went ahead and wrapped the spring around the front mounting bolt and pushed it in place. Next, we went ahead and put the little flat stock of steel in between the pins and the last step is go ahead and put in the brake pad now before i reinstall this brake assembly on the lawnmower i like to give this middle nut a good snug fit against the brake assembly remember it does two things it holds everything together but it also applies pressure for this mechanical arm to push against the pins to make the pad move closer towards the rotor now we'll do our final adjustments once it's on the lawnmower itself. Next step, go ahead and reinstall everything on the lawnmower. First step is to slide the mechanical arm over the brake shaft itself. Then go ahead and hold the brake pads with one hand and get the mounting bolt started with the other. Once you have the bolt started, go ahead and take your half inch wrench 
and uh, tighten them all the way down. Now once you have the brakes reassembled, there's one more adjustment that you can actually do for the brakes. Notice at the top right, the rear spring sits about a half inch away from the mechanical arm. There's two nuts. Once you screw one closer towards the mechanical arm, it applies pressure to put between the spring and the mechanical arm itself. And then it has a locking nut in front of it to make it where the front nut would not loosen itself back up. Basically what this does is shortens the throw on the brake pedal itself. So once I had the brakes adjusted to my liking, I went ahead and gave the lawnmower a couple of tests. I actually pushed it. While I was pushing it, I hit the brake pedal. Then I went ahead and locked it into the parking brake setting of the lawnmower, pushed it back and forth a couple of times, and the part brake mode works great now. Uh, the lawnmower stops really easily and it's a lot safer to cut around vehicles or out by the street or if kids are playing. But that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Again, my name is Ryan Fenners, and you've been watching the Fentertainment channel. Be sure to click these other videos here. Give a like on this video if this has helped you out at all. Be sure to subscribe to the Fentertainment channel if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.